Good morning, folks. Today is Friday, April 16th, and it's actually a really big day in Otto's life. Today he gets a lift snip. So I'm gonna take him for a walk. We're waiting for the elevator right now. And I wanted to give him like a big romp in the park, but he's not really allowed to drink water or eat food. So I don't want him to be, you know, desperate and thirsty and he can't do that. Hey Otto, so today's a really big day in your life. You're going to get neutered. Um, we're gonna go for a nice walk. I don't know why you wanna like the elevator. Is it really tasty? So these are the sorts of uh, dog things you do the morning before your big surgery. See, he's so lovely. He, he knows the elevator, he's waiting. Scratches the door. Like, hey, lady, open the damn door. Gotta get out. Where you going? Where you going? Oh. Good, morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, sweetie. You hey, gotta Sky. Go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go, right? Oh, hi, handsome. Gotta say hi. <laughs> oh, little boo boo. <laughs> Okay, Otto, you're getting real personal. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bye, baby. Have yeah. a good day. He's having surgery today. Oh, no. For it's what? His, uh, just his neuter. Okay, okay, good. No, no, it'd be okay, baby. You'll be in a couple of days, you'll be good. Then you have to not, you can't play for a few days. Seven two, to ten days, right? Two, yeah, two yeah, weeks, two basically. Weeks, okay. You'll be good. So he does have 10 days that um, after the surgery, he'll need to be calm and no crazy running. But, uh, so I wanted to take him crazy running. However, when we're in the park and he's off leash, I usually use treats to bring him back. And since he's not allowed to eat, I don't, yeah, I just don't feel comfortable being off leash without knowing I can like, you know, entice him with a treat. So we're about uh, an hour and a half to two hours away from me taking him to the vet. Just chilling at home. Um, before he asked to, he's had a lovely walk, played with lots of dogs, and now he is uh, chewing on my socks. Just another day for this boy. I guess people would say don't let it happen, but his bite inhibition's really good. He doesn't bite down really hard, and he loves to pull off my socks. It's like his way of making sure I stay at home. <laughs> So he's like, as soon as I get in, he's like, let me get these socks off. It's kind of like a nice little foot massage. Okay, there we go. So, Otto here only has the one testicle. His other one didn't descend. You can kind of feel it right here, but it didn't descend. So, it's gonna be goodbye to this. <laughs> Sorry, Otto. 
Oh no, he's not upset. He's just like, oh yeah, you reminded me I needed to lick. I haven't licked enough today. So yeah, goodbye testicle. But we got you on camera. The only bad thing with him having just the one um, testicle is that he might end up having two incisions when they have to take them out. I guess I don't know what they do when they get rid of them. Um, but they said it will take the same amount of time to heal. Making sure he's nice and comfy before his surgery. But this is like every day. This boy loves to be hugged. and. Not hugged, sorry. He loves his pets. You should see him at work, going to every single person demanding pets. Oh. Yeah, he loves his head right here. Yeah, look at those beautiful eyes. Yeah. some help. And we're heading to the vet now. I got Otto this new side bag. Um, he has his great backpack. I was worried about the stitches. It's actually currently around 6 p.m. I'm basically done working, so I'm going to pick up Otto around 1 o'clock this afternoon. They picked me up to say that the surgery went well, and it went quite quickly, and that he would be available to pick up from 4.30. So I'm off to do that. Um, there is a Petco about a block away from the Yvette, so... I'm gonna go in there and get Otto some kind of, I'm really sorry you lost your testicles um, present. So we'll see, probably some sort of chew toy since his walks are gonna have to be super short uh, for the next two weeks. So I, things to, something to keep him occupied and not going absolutely crazy. But he's a very active boy, so he's gonna be going absolutely crazy. It's gonna be a long two weeks. So this is Park Slope, which is about two stops on the train away from where I live. It's a lot nicer than my hood, which is a lot poorer, but getting super gentrified as we speak, which, you know, while I like some of the nicer things, I hate that many people are being pushed out. Um, but I just bought a condo, so they can't push me out. <laughs> Here's the Petco. 
Um, it's Park Slope, so they made it fancy by calling it Unleashed, but it's just really another Petco. Here we go. Let's see what we can find for our boy. Lots of cute leashes, but I don't think you'd love that. So I'm thinking something in here. Decision made, we're gonna get, he loves lamb, so we're gonna try these lamb lung bites. Um, never tried this brand before, good lovin', but yeah, lamb can't go wrong. Um, I think I might also try this uh, natural beef strap, also by the same brand. So he has a couple of options of choose. tell you're kind of groggy because yeah. you're not going crazy. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Oh my god, this comb. So how, does he need another comb? Because it doesn't look like he can do much. Yeah, he should be able to do it. And if he doesn't, then you can take it off while he's eating and drinking. But we don't want his nose to surpass it. And the smaller one, it did. He has a longer nose. Okay. okay? I have a long nose, baby. Yeah. You need a nose job. <laughs> <laughs> just got home from the vet and he's just sitting there looking I don't know so out of it my poor baby so I got him I think I'd shown you guys I got him this like stick um, let's see if he likes it he showed a little interest but I think he's just too out of it for anything um, we got some medicine as well. Um, let's see. Focus. Okay, that's my vet, Christopher Gaylord, North Slope Veterinary. Uh, oh, notes for Otto, who is a canine. Doesn't really say what it is. Oh. Here it is, carprofen, 25 milligrams. So I have to give him half a tablet every night with food. So we'll start tonight, even though they said that he might not eat food. Um, I'm gonna wait. He's just so groggy. Ugh, groggy, I can't speak. Now the thing is to get his um, harness off, it has to come over his head. He has this giant cone. Um, maybe if I, we'll see. Okay. Okay, sure, I'm a little interested in the bone. Okay, let me turn this off and just give my baby some love. This is where it absolutely sucks to live alone. So to take off the harness, I ended up having to take off this cone, which was actually a lot of work to get off and back on. I'm not even sure I got it on uh, right. The sex to live alone is, it would have been nice to have someone record that so you guys could see how annoying that was. Um, yeah, I may end up having to go to the pet store and seeing if they have a less fiddly cone because I don't know that I got that on right. Um, oh man, he looks like he's in, you know, Handmaid's Tale or one of those shows, or like, you know, old timey, The Crucible. Um, oh, see if he'll get on his pup rug and just be comfy. And I, I don't think I did a good job. He seems very uncomfortable. Let me try again. So don't watch this section if you're a little bit queasy type. Um, anyhow, here is his, in, are his incisions. Super red. 
And I don't know what that is back here. I guess. It's super weird looking. But oh, it looks kind of gross. I hope he's not in pain. I guess that's what those drugs are for. Are you in pain? You just look dopey. Uh, just on drugs and super dopey. This is what our night's gonna be. Just me holding my baby. He's whining a little bit. I don't know if he's in pain, so I'm gonna give him his medicine now. I don't want my baby in pain. He just looks like he doesn't know what to do. Like He wants to sleep, but he doesn't know how to lay down. I really did a bad job putting that cone back on. Lay down, baby, go to sleep, okay? I'm gonna get you your medicine. said at the vet that he wouldn't have an appetite, but Otto has an appetite. So that was a half serving of his food because they said he wouldn't eat very much tonight, so I'm going to give him the other half because uh, he has cleaned that bowl. sure what to do because this is his you know half portion for the rest of the day but I guess they didn't feed him at all today look at him do you remember the last video of him not eating he's starving but I think I'm going to air it on caution and just feed him the half portion I don't want it to make him sick by feeding him too much you want a little treat after eating all that food you deserve a treat and after your day, you deserve a treat. First treat are these uh, puppy wellness bites, which he loves. It's lamb and salmon. Have a few more. Next treat are these good loving, uh, or good loving, lamb lung bites, which I just got from Petco on the way to pick him up. So this is a chew, not a treat, so to speak. it's more of a treat it said it was a chew so I thought he'd be chewing on it longer but uh, so I'm being super indulgent as you're noticing so I'm gonna give him another one because he obviously loved it and he's had a hard day good thing that uh, bed is washable because it's gonna need a wash after all these treats Obviously doesn't want to get off it. Okay, your belly must be nice and full so you can go to sleep now. Take a little nappy dee nap. What's wrong, baby? 